My name is Richard. Uh, I've been working with Greater Works for several years now, and uh, I'm standing right now in our store. We have a store where they can come in and they can actually shop. We don't give out food boxes because a lot of times they have items they don't like that it goes to waste. So we allow them to come in, and they'll tell us what size their family is. They fill out a form, and uh, then they can come in here and shop and pick out things that they like to eat. And we have people from all over that come here from different counties. We have them from Ch uh, Murray County. We have them from um, the city, from Dalton. We have them from uh, Varnell. We have them from all the counties around. And we've been able to serve each and every one. And we're just so thankful that they come here and that we're able to help them with their needs. And I think that they all go home well blessed and well supplied with groceries. Well, my name is Sean, and I love coming to Greater Words because it helps me out because, one, I'm homeless, and it is a struggle. But this, if it wasn't for this place, I wouldn't be who I am today. And if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be who I am today. We uh, have meat, we have eggs, we have milk. Uh, uh, we got all kinds of staple goods here. Uh, then we have also hygiene products so they can get their hygiene products when they're in here shopping. And uh, so we've been able to help a lot of families that way and uh, help sustain them. We're not here to support them in a daily basis, but to sustain them and help them to get on their feet and various things that we can do in that manner to be sure that they're getting food to eat, proper foods to eat. We have a good crew here. It's just a, one of the blessings in my life is working here. What we do here is try to provide a safe place for people to come and get out of the elements. We um, serve on the average of about 2,000 meals a month for our nightly suppers and uh, the day center and breakfast. We've been doing this uh, for about 25 years. We come once a month on uh, the third Sunday and cook breakfast. I'm Debbie with Christ Church Presbyterian. We are doing, um, we're helping out a little bit with uh, Greater Works. Christ Church brings a meal to serve. We have a member of the church who prepares all the food. We help with uh, furniture that's given to us, we give it to others, appliances, uh, clothing, food, a food pantry, a clothing pantry, and all of it is given away. God provides and we or just his hand handing it out. I bring our youth group. We bring some kids over here to serve at Greater Works. And a lot of times we show up here thinking that we're gonna be serving and blessed and we kind of find out that actually we're the ones being blessed by getting to work with these awesome people that are here. We get to learn from Robert and Darlene what it looks like to live a lifestyle of servanthood. Um, and it's been a great opportunity for our youth group kids and for our church to come and put their faith into action. We also have a, cl a, a clothing bank. You can donate clothing. Everything you see in here is free for everybody who is in need. We give clothes to, um, to everyone who come here every, once a month. We give three outfits, uh, shoes, whatever is in this store they can have are free. On the average about 300 come to us a month for clothing and about 100 for our groceries. The main thing we want to do here is um, get people to the Lord and help them get their lives turned around back on their feet so they can get back out into our society and be productive citizens. Um, we need help with that though. We need help. We need more workers for the harvest. We need people to come in here and give love unconditionally. Many people who will pray, pray with us. Uh, this ministry began approximately 23 years ago, serving men on the street, but has it evolved into serving families and individuals and uh, a lot of different things and it's the things we do. The building that we're in right now, you've seen some shots of, is not ours, but we rent the building, but we're trusting God for it. There's also a section in the middle part of this building, which is about 5,000 square feet, we'd like to turn into transitional living. Uh, in doing so, we'll be able to help families, uh, single moms with children, just be able to provide for them a safe environment for them until they can get reestablished. This is the desire of our heart. Uh, the ministry, we do a lot of things. We do a lot of things for a lot of different people. It doesn't necessarily have to be homeless. But uh, we just want to be a servant of God and give God the glory and honor for all of it because it's 
He that makes it possible for us to do what we do. So from that, uh, we would enjoy having you to join with us, uh, to volunteer, to come, see what God would have you to do, search it out, and, uh, and know that God's in it. Uh, we're all volunteers. There's no staff, uh, paid that is. Uh, so we're just here waiting on folks to come and to help provide for them and have other folks come and participate with us and help share the love of God. That's the desire of our heart to see folks come to know Jesus.